Well, hello there, paddlers. Welcome back to my channel. Well, not too long ago, you saw me out on the water with my new toy, the motor, the Thrust Me Cruiser motor. And uh, I mentioned I'd do uh, a bit of a review of it. Now, I know not everybody would want one, all right? But after watching some of the, uh, watching, after reading some of the comments in that video, I know one or two of you may be tempted, all right? So I thought I'd do a review on it and uh, give you a close up, show you it and everything. Now I'm not, I've took a photograph, right? And I, about, uh, I don't know, a two second, five second video. But I'm not going to set my boat up, connect it all up and show you that. But what I will do is leave a link, right, to a couple of videos that the people that invented this thing have made. And you will see it all being connected to the boat and everything. That's if you want to go to that next step and you're that interested. What I'll do is show you what you get if you order it. You've already seen it running, right? It's bloody great. Right, you can trickle along at a leisurely pace, just relax, which I, I will be. Right, in summer, I can just picture myself, right, on the X500 because of the shape and the stability of it. The motor on the front, my legs hanging out the side, just dangling in the water in the middle of summer, just trickling along. Uh, still paying attention, but just trickling along with my feet in the water while the motor, you know, I just relaxing in scorching hot summer weather. I, I can just see myself doing that, and you will probably see me doing that at one point. Uh, so, uh, let's take a quicker look. Uh, it comes in a nice bag, by the way. Right, you can actually carry it as like a backpack. All right, but let's take a quicker look at it and I'll show you what you get and uh, talk about it basically. <laughs> I'm great at doing these videos, I, I, you know, I, I should get an award, I'm so talented <laughs> all over the bloody place. <laughs> okay then, let's take a look at this thing. All right then, paddlers. Yeah, that's your brand. Right, comes in this nice bag. Like I said, it does come as like a backpack style. But uh, you're not interested in that, are you? So let's just open it up and see what you get in the box, so to speak. I must say, you do get one hell of a nice set of instructions. Alright, that's just a reminder for me to sum up. Yeah, you do get on hell of a nice set of instructions. Alright, it's all, I'm not going to cover everything, but it's all like coloured pictures and loads of information and stuff like that. It It's really well covered and obviously in different languages. But uh, yeah, everything's there. It's a really nice instruction booklet that really took a bit of time over this. You also, I'll mention it straight away, I don't know, I think it's just fell out. You do get a spare prop, but these are so solid, you're probably never going to need that. But this is what you get in the bag, alright? This is loose at the moment, but if you got one, yours would be connected in. That's your mounting strap. Right, you're right, I'll take it out in a minute to give you a closer look. But that's your mounting strap. Alright. All this stuff is extremely well made. Charger. You also can purchase a charger so you can charge it uh, in your car. Either straight from your battery of your car or from your cigarette lighter. In here you get different pouches for different things. This is for the... If I can find it, there it is. The remote control, all right? Which 
I will show you a bit closer in a sec, but that connects to the front. But you can have it in this little pouch and just uh, strapped on your wrist or strapped on your paddle if you want. All right, but that's the remote control. All right, you get a kill switch and everything, but I'll show you that when I get it out. So let's take it out the box, out the box, out the bag, and give you a bit of a closer look. Okay then, this is your mounting bracket that connects onto your boat. All right. It's all padded underneath and everything. I won't go on about this too much because this is literally just the bracket. You sit it on your boat, your strap that I showed you runs underneath your boat and comes into this ratchet all right, to tighten up. And basically the front of your motor goes in there, locks in, lock it down, done. All right, that's just the base. Okay. Now, the actual motor itself, uh, it's beautiful. I should show you that connector. You see, this is your remote control and it, it literally, if I can line up, magnetically connects on there. As you can see, it's got a float just in case you dropped it. But you don't have to have it on there. Right? You can, as I said, you can just have that round your wrist or have it strapped with that strap and everything. But no, here, here's how it basically, uh, I'll rephrase that. That's where you would put it if you're charging it when you've got it plugged in because the charger goes in this part here, right? But you don't have to have that on there, right? Now, I'll have to just turn this around to show you. Now, you'll have to imagine now, because we're the opposite way around now, but you have to imagine that sat on the boat in front of you, right? There's a little release handle here. They make it so this can't accidentally move. You just lift and twist, all right? And on this side, now they do tell you, and in the videos, right, in my video, I should say, I mentioned this, all right? It's best if you can get your boat, right? Get it on stands, set it all up, all right? Connect the bracket up and everything, put your motor on top, and set it up in the right position. What I'm gonna show you now, you see this, just unscrew that a bit, another bracket. This would open, not enough. This opens up here, this is sat on your boat, as I would be sat on my boat. This opens up here, all right? And then turns, tilts down. I'll go back a bit more. And then that little locking nut you saw earlier just pops in and that's it. Now it's locked in place. All right. But then this bit, the underneath, all right, you release another little bracket here. This is more complicated doing it on a chair, trust me. All right. And just loosen that. If you imagine that being on the boat now, then that would tilt under. So you're getting the rough idea now on top of the boat and under the boat. Now if you set all this up before on a stand, then all you would have to do right, is rotate. Oh, I'll have to put that down there, I'm in a funny position. Rotate, all right, you'd lock that back off again. Uh, set that down on top of your boat and that's it. You know that is all in the correct position all right, for when you go paddling that sat on your boat and whenever you want to use it, you literally pull it out. All right, I'll have to pull it down that way. Release your clip. Twist it down and you know it's in exactly the right position. Let's take a closer look while I, so this is this is awkward on a chair, all right? But you'll just have to trust me, it is easier, all right? On a boat, as you, as you can imagine, actually, you can probably imagine this would be easier on a boat because I'm trying to balance it on a chair 
and uh, at the same time right come a bit closer now <laughs> Well, to be honest, there's not a great deal left to show you because everything's built in. The battery is built in here. Uh, uh, on the front, when it's running, oh, I'll have to show you the safety stuff. On the front, when it's running, you get a display that comes up. You've got six markers for forward, six markers for reverse. Right? You've also got a power indicator. It's very bright. You can't miss it with a battery. Uh, and it shows you how much it shows you a picture of a battery so how much of the battery you've got left and there's also a percentage so it makes it 80 percent 40 percent 10 percent you know you get it right so you do get plenty of information with it okay but like i said and i will be doing that next time i'd get my boat already put it on stands set this up and then do it the way I've just showed you, make sure it's in the right place and then be ready for paddling. I tried to do all that on the water. Big mistake. Big mistake. Even though in the videos you see them you see the videos. Alright. And they're setting it up on dry land and they're making sure everything fits right and everything or not fits, making sure everything's in the right position before they go on the water. Me, I was a bit too keen. Alright. I should mention all right, when you're actually paddling, all right, this motor will not work like that at all. I can press them buttons all day long. You need to connect, well, you can call it a starter and a kill switch. You need to connect this kill switch, all right, which connects to you. Oh yeah, I ain't got that connected. But when that's connected, now the motor would work if I've got that set, right? Which I haven't, right? But now the motor would work and this is just connected to you. You just clip it to your frigging life jacket, whatever. I put a extra cord on it because of the shape of the uh, Pakiak. It was a little bit further away. But then if you've got a problem and you fall in or whatever, you can literally you just pull that and the motor cuts out instantly plus also you do have an emergency stop button on here so it's it's got a computer baby that me i'm getting emails so it's got safety features built in obviously nobody will ask but yes it's a hundred percent waterproof so if it was on your boat and your boat went off tipped upside down all right it'd be fine <laughs> not that anyone's going to ask that considering what it is but yeah it's a hundred percent waterproof but yeah that that's all i can really tell you because it it's thing it, it is what it is all right it's a great bit of kit actually you can also connect this right to paddle boards it actually fits paddle boards all right they do make particular ones for boats and stuff like that for like uh, your, your dinghy boats and stuff and even your little uh, well little for more richer people electric motors so they're in the electric motor business it, it's not as if it's just a one-off they have made other things all right but uh, extremely well made. It's it's a solid bit of kit. You get me? It, it's it's not like a plasticky thing. This is a solid bit of kit. All right. That's probably because of the price point as well. All right. The way it's actually made. But uh, yeah. So there's no else I can tell you because. It speaks for itself. I've tried to show you it folds. I'm not going to do it again. All right, but just to give you the idea, it comes up and then it falls under. All right. If it looked extremely complicated and clumsy, it's because I'm sat on a chair. 
right? It's not as I managed to do it on the water whilst in my kayak, right? Yeah, it was a bit wobbly and it was a mistake, right? But I managed it. So if I could manage it in the water, setting this up out the water will be a breeze, which I will be doing next time. Setting it up out the water. But yeah, uh, in case you didn't see my video, six power settings, right? I tried it once for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute on setting four and it was blasting, right? It was flying, it was, right? Uh, you get, I think it's uh, the instruction manuals there. I should look, because it's only fair to tell you the truth. Uh, for how much battery life you get, you see. Now, on level one and two, it is a bit more of a gentle cruiser motor. Level three, you, you are going fast. Level four, you are flying. I haven't tried five and six, right? Because, well, I was on a river. <laughs> and if I'd have veered off, I, I don't think I'd have had time to stop or react. Because four was fast. So level five and six will be made. But on, a, on the ocean, right? or on a massive lake it'll be it'll be fantastic i'm just looking for the how long the battery lasts i know there's a big scale there it is right is it yeah why do they make it so small glasses term glasses term wrong glasses <laughs> Uh, let's see what we can do here, George. On level one, which is just the smooth cruising, right, just the trickle, right, you get, uh, I think it's five hours. On level two, three to four hours, I think that says. Level three, Three hours, level four. Oh, we're dropping now. Level four, an hour and a half on level four. All right. Uh, level five, one hour. Just one hour on level five. And if you run it at full boost mode, to call it boost mode, which I can believe. If you run it at full power, uh, you can run it at full power for 45 minutes. And I'll tell you what. I don't know what full power is like, but I know level four, I was flying. I, I reckon I, I, I don't know, but I, I was flying. I know for a fact, I, if I'd have gone to five or even six, I would have needed my skate on the kayak because the water was blasting outside of me on level four. But yeah, so that there you go then. All right. Some people will like say, no, it's cheating, right? I agree with you. If you was going to use that all the time, right, instead of paddling, it's cheating, right? Unless, right, you, you might be in a situation where you love kayaking, but for one reason and another, you just can't paddle anymore, right? Mm. Yeah, you might have had some sort of injury which stops your shoulders from working or your elbows from working, right? But you can still get in and out of a kayak and you still want to be on the water, then that would be great, right? But uh, also as well, because that's what I'll be using it for, every now and again, right? I've been out a couple of times since uh, I made that video and I haven't taken it. I've only used it once, that one time. All right, but I will be using it, but uh, mostly in the summer, just for like, as I've said, just, you know what I mean, all right? But uh, yeah, it's not cheating, it, it's a bit of fun, all right, to use now and again, all right? And uh, it's a bit of fun. You know what I mean? We take our kayaks out, right? Some people like to go surfing with them. And then why do people go whitewater kayaking, right? For fun. And that is fun. 
That is fun. If you had one, if you tried one, right? If you just tried one, you'd want one. Right? It's fun, anyhow. But that's uh, that's you making stuff. I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link. Right? You notice I haven't mentioned the price. Right? If I tell you the price, it might put a lot of people off straight away, but I don't think it'd be fair not to tell you the price. You're talking a little bit over a thousand pounds. Alright. I know. I know what a lot of you a lot of you are saying, click, stop watching, or click not interested. But yeah, I know it's expensive. This is something I saw about two odd years ago, right? And uh, I've been putting a little bit aside, you get me? Cause it's, it's a treat, it's a luxury. It's not something I needed. It's just something I wanted, <laughs> right? Just something I wanted, right? So I've just been putting a few pennies aside each week until I could afford it, right? I did it that way, rather than go out and just buy it and you get me? I did it that way. But yeah, so it's just a luxury. Anyhow, paddlers, all right, I'm going to leave it there and uh, simply say, cheers. <laughs>